Hello everyone, let's take a look at this problem vowel and consonant substrings. So in this problem we have to find the number of substrings such that they either start with a vowel and end with a consonant or they either start with a consonant and end with a vowel. Now let's take a look at an example so one, to understand this question better. We have this string and we will traverse this string sequentially. And at each position, we will try to find out how many substrings we can make such that the substring end at that position. So first of all, we are at A. It's a vowel. And there are no consonants before that. So we can make zero substrings that end with A. Similarly, G. It's a consonant and there's one vowel before it. So we can make one substring that ends with G. H, that is again a consonant which has one vowel before that. So again, we can make one substring that ends with H. Similarly, for I, we have two consonants before it. So two. For J, we have two consonants, two vowels before it. For K again, we have two vowels before it. And for O, we have G, H, J, K. So four consonants before it. So that totals up to So we can form 12 substrings with this string. Now let's take a look at the solution. So we'll take few variables before we traverse the string. First one is the modulus that is 10 raised to power 9 plus 7. And then we have two variables to represent the number of vowels and consonants we have encountered until now. So we initialize them to zero initially and then we take the answer variable and initialize it to zero. Now we tra traverse the string. We check whether the current character is a vowel. If it is so, we increment the vowel and add number of consonants to the answer because the number of substrings that end with this character will be equal to the number of consonants we have encountered until now. And also we modulus it with M. Similarly, if we have a consonant, we add vowels, number of vowels we have encountered until now to the answer and modulus it with M and then finally we return the answer.